Hey guys, this video is taken from our full course called VDA 5 for SketchUp Exterior Masterclass. And in this video, you will learn how to create landscape with a super powerful plugin called Scatter 2. You learn all the various tricks and you can start using it in your own daily SketchUp workflows. Right, enough babbling, let's jump straight to the video. Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to use this awesome plugin called Scatter 2 to scatter elements along our terrain. Alright, so in the previous video, we added some assets from Chaos Cosmos under flower, grass and rock. So you guys can go ahead and add these assets in, in case you have not added them yet. So it would show up here on the right here. Or you can use the previous exercise file as well. Now, so now we need to add some grass and scatter these assets along this terrain. So the first thing what I'm going to do is add the grass. So I'm going to open 3D Bazaar. So click on 3D Bazaar. Make sure you have an active internet connection as well. So with Scatter, you get 3D Bazaar and Composition Editor. And in the 3D Bazaar, we have some free assets. So I'm going to use something called those Scatter Tall Grass. So click on Download. And once you download, you will have an option to import this. Make sure to import this as a proxy. Use Scatter Grass Tall and then click on Import. So now it would import into Scatter Composition Editor and also create a composition it's called Scatter Tall Grass. So let me close this other assets. So we've added the scattered object, which is the Scatter Grass Tall. So now we need to select the host. So before we select the host, we need to make sure this terrain group is not inside any other group. So I'm going to switch to the select tool and then try to select the terrain. So you can see that it is inside the main house groups. So we need to move this out of the main house group. So what we can do is select this group, press Ctrl X to cut it. And then we're still inside the main group. So press escape to exit and now we are outside. Now go to edit and click on paste in place. So now we know that this group is outside. So click on pick surface and then select the group. So now you can see that the grass being scattered. So now we have different options. What I'll do is increase the density. So I, I see more grass and then click on generate. Now there's two modes to generate the grass. You can either generate in render only mode or you can generate it as a grass in the model. So if I switch this off and click on generate. Now you can see that it comes as a proxy which will be added to your scene. I don't really need this because I will be seeing the grass only in the render. So I'm going to press Ctrl Z, switch to only render only mode and then click on generate. All right, great. So now let's see how this grass looks in the render. So let's go to field of view 20 and then click on render with very interactive. All right, so now you can see our grass and it's looking great. But you can see that some patches are still left out, especially at the borders. So we need to fix that. So let's stop the render and let's add this to our history VFB as well. Close this. And now we need to add another scattered object called the scatter border. So you can close the composition editor, open the 3D bazaar, scroll down, select scatter tall grass again. And change this option from scatter grass tall to scatter grass tall border. Use the default proxy and then click on import. So this would be added to another composition. So if I open composition editor, you can see that we have two compositions now. We have the scatter tall grass and we have the scatter tall grass border. So similarly to the scatter tall grass, for this composition, we need to add the host as well. So I'm going to click on pick surface. And then select this group. So now you can see that the grass is being added to the border of this group. Also, I'm going to increase the density a little bit. And then click on generate. So I hope scatter is starting to make sense for you all. So scattered object is basically the objects you want to scatter on a group or on a host. And the host is simply a group or a surface which is going to contain these scattered objects. 
All right, so I'm going to close this, go to field of view, 20, and then click on render with V-Ray Interactive. Now you don't have to worry about the lighting since it's a little too dark. We're going to fix that later on the course by using some artificial lights. All right, so now you can see that the borders also get filled up. Perfect. Now let's stop the render. Now comes the magic where we're going to scatter these objects onto the terrain. So this time I'm going to create a fresh composition. So click on Composition Manager. And then click on the plus button to create a new composition. I'm going to call this Random Objects on Terrain. And then start adding in our scattered objects. So I'm going to click on the plus button here. Select our Boulder Limestone. Select our small flower here. Then select the grass object, the Mexican feather grass. And the blue feces. So now we have the different scattered objects. Now we need to select the host. So click on pick surface and select the host. So now you can see that it starts to scatter all these objects on the terrain. So now we have the option to mix and match these objects. So if I scroll down, we have an option called random scale. So if I switch this on, you can see that the objects would scale from a value of 80% to all the way to 120%. Now I don't need the objects to go bigger, but I would want the objects to become smaller. So maybe from 40% to about 100%. I also have an option to randomly rotate these objects. So I'm going to click on random rotation. So now you can see that all the objects would randomly rotate. And finally, the main cool feature is to simply increase the probability of some objects on the terrain and reduce the probability of others. So if I go to my boulder limestone, which is blue, so all these blue boxes here simply indicate the position of our boulder limestone. I can reduce the scale of this. So maybe keep it at 50%. So you can see that the blue boxes become smaller. You can also increase the scale if you want. You can also increase the probability of these boulder objects. So now if I reduce it, you can see that it goes away and it's all scattered only in some areas of the terrain. Similarly, I can do it for the grass as well. So if I click on this, these green boxes is the grass. So I can reduce the size of the grass and the probability of the grass as well showing up on the terrain. So this is where the grass would show up. Similarly, the other big grass, which is in black in color, so these ones, can reduce the scale and keep it at a probability of around 80. So once you've done doing all of that, then you can click on generate. Make sure it is in render only mode. You can go ahead and generate it in the model, but it would make your model heavy. So make sure it's in only render only mode and then click on generate. So now if I go to my front view, do not worry if you close like a scatter and these objects go away because it would show up in your interactive render. So now if I click on render with V-Ray Interactive, you can see the scattered objects in our scene. And this looks makes it look even more awesome and realistic. How cool is that? So that is a quick tutorial into using Scatter. There's a lot more options that Scatter has and I will be exploring Scatter in detail in another workshop. In the next video, I will be adding some artificial lights because our exterior seems a little too dull and I will try using artificial lights to sort of brighten it up. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Alright guys, so we come to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful and I hope you learned how powerful Scatter 2 can be. You can download Scatter 2 by heading to the link in the description and you can start using it for a trial of about 15 days if I'm not wrong. Also, if you'd like to learn how to render this entire scene from scratch, head to the link in the description and you'll gain access to our full course. Last but not the least, I know this is a lot of call to actions, but please do like and subscribe to our channel. It keeps us motivated in releasing more awesome content for y'all. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Manish signing off, aka SketchUp Guru. Cheers.